चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ गुजरात श्री विजय रूपाणी जी माय कलीग यूनियन मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर हर्षवर्धन जी हर एक्सलेंसी मिस एना एक्सट्रॉम मिनिस्टर फ्रॉम स्वीडन डेप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर श्री नितिन भाई पटेल डिस्टिंग्विश नोबेल लॉरियट्स डॉक्टर गौरान हैंसन वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द नोबेल फाउंडेशन डियर साइंटिस्ट लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन गुड इवनिंग let me first congratulate the department of biotechnology government of india the government of gujarat and the novel media foundation who have brought this exhibition to science city for 5 weeks i declare the exhibition open and hope you will all have an opportunity to experience it the nobel prize is the world's recognized at the highest level for creative ideas thought and work on fundamental science earlier there have been occasions when one two or three nobel laureates have visited india and had interaction with students and scientists in a limited manner but today we are making history by having a galaxy of nobel laureates in gujarat i extend a heartly welcome to all the laureates present here you are valued friends of india some of you have been here earlier several times one of you was born here venki <laughs> and actually grew up in badodara i'm delighted to see so many of our young students here today एक प्रकार से आज मेरे सामने लघु भारत है हिंदुस्तान के हर कोने से आए हुए भावी वैज्ञानिक मेरे सामने बैठे हैं आई आस ऑल ऑफ यू टू अर्च ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली to visit the science city over the coming weeks our students will cherish this extraordinary experience of interacting with you it will inspire them to undertake new and significant challenges that hold the key to our shared sustainable future i am very hopeful that this exhibition and this series will become a strong link between you and our students science teachers and our scientists my government has a clear vision of where we want india to be in the next 15 years science and technology is the pivot on which that vision will translate into strategy and action our vision in science and technology is to make sure that opportunity is available to all our youth that training and future preparedness should make our youth employable in the best places that india should be a great science destination 
that we should take major inspirational challenges such as deep sea exploration and cyber systems. We have a plan that will take this vision through action. Our scientists have been asked to develop programs on science teaching in our schools across the country. This will also involve training teachers. At the next level, they will have been asked to create new programs, both in skilling and high-tech training. These programs will make you employable in the new knowledge economy and make you effective entrepreneurs and thinking scientists. You will be able to compete for positions and jobs here and anywhere in the world. Next, our scientists will link our laboratories in cities. You can share ideas, seminars, and resources and equipment. This will allow us to do more and better collaborative science. Our science agencies will expand science-driven entrepreneurship and commercial commercialization in a big way in each state according to local needs. Our startups and industry can then compete globally. These seeds must be planted this year and we will then see fruits come steadily. My young friends, you are the future of India and the world. <laughs> India offers an enabling and unique opportunity of a large demographic divide and the best teachers. Young students, you are the streams that charge the wells of knowledge and expertise. Your training and your future is what this is all about. Thanks to science and technology, the human race has flourished. Large numbers of enjoying a quality of life unparalleled in, in human history. Yet, India has a great challenge to raise many from poverty. You will be scientists soon and must not neglect this challenge, the maturity of our science will also be judged by responsible treatment of our planet by the wise use of science and technology. You will be scientists soon and the guardians of the planet. We must have a clear outcomes from the Nobel exhibition and the science city. Globally, Science and technology has emerged as one of the major drivers of socio-economic development. In the fast-growing Indian economy, there are increasing expectations from scientific in, you know, interventions. There are three outcomes I would like to see from the Nobel Prize series. First, follow up with students and their teachers. The students and teachers here have come through a national ideathon competition and hail from all over the country. Do not lose, do not lose track of them. During the exhibition period, you may also have a session for school teachers from all over Gujarat. 
second stimulate entrepreneurship locally there is a great entrepreneurial zeal among our youth our science ministries have incubators here in gujarat in the next 5 weeks you should have a workshop on how cutting edge science and technology driven startups can be boosted i am told that there are about 10 nobel prize winning discoveries that have gone into the making of a smartphone prize winning physics can both save electricity bills and the planet the 2014 nobel prize in physics was for the blue led this came from basic research by three japanese scientists akasaki amano and nakamura when combined with the previously known red and green led white light devices can be made that last a hundred thousand hours there are many such existing discoveries being made that we can apply through enterprise aapko shayad pata hoga ki bharat mein hum logon ne sarkar mein aane ke baad led bulb ka ek bahut bada abhiyan chalaya hai aur bahut hi kam samay mein shayad hum 1 billion led bulb logon tak pahunchayenge aur iske karan बिजली बचेगी लोगों का खर्चा बचेगा पैसा बचेगा और सबसे बड़ी बात एनवायरमेंट की रक्षा होगी तो एक नोबेल प्राइज विनर साइंटिस्ट की खोज और बहुत पुरानी नहीं 2014 की कितना बड़ा जीवन पर प्रभाव पैदा कर सकती है कितना बड़ा जीवन बदल सकती है और इस इसलिए साइंटिस्ट की जिंदगी भले एक लैब में पूरी होती हो लेकिन उसका कंट्रीब्यूशन सदियों तक मानव कल्याण के लिए काम आता है थर्ड इंपैक्ट ऑन सोसाइटी मैनी नोबेल प्राइज विनिंग डिस्कवरीज हैव हैड ए ह्यूज इंपैक्ट ऑन अवर सोसाइटी थ्रू हेल्थ and agriculture for example precision medicine using the tools of gene technologies is now a reality we must use this tool to study cancer diabetes and infectious disease india is already a generics and bio similar leader with a major hub in gujarat but we must now strive to become a leader in new biotech discoveries as well i am happy that this exhibition has been planned at the science city which connects community to science it is an ideal platform to engage citizens to learn about solutions to global challenges we face we will strive to make this science city a truly attractive world class place for young students and science teachers from all over the country and the world to come and be inspired by the exhibits center and state should collaborate and take up this challenge in this this year my young friends the laureates rep represent the peaks of science and you must learn from them but remember that the peak rises from great mountain ranges and does not stand alone you are the foundation and the future of india you should build 
new ranges from which the picks will arise. If we focus on the foundation in our schools and colleges and through teachers, all miracles can happen. There will be hundreds of peaks from India. But if we neglect the hard work at the base, no peak will magically appear. Be inspired and be daring. Have courage and be your own person and not imitative. That is how our honored guests succeeded and that is what you should learn from them. I take this opportunity to thank the Nobel Media Foundation, the Department of Biotechnology, Government of India and the Government of Gujarat for organizing such an innovative program. I wish this exhibition a grand success and I am sure that you will all benefit from it. Thank you. Thank you very much.